Step 9. Shower as soon as possible, ideally out of service, and wash contaminated clothing at the fire hall. When we get back to our hall, we make it a point to get our apparatus and equipment back in service as soon as possible. But we also need to make it a point to get ourselves in service as soon as possible. And that includes taking a good quality prompt shower. Ideally, you would be taking this shower at your hall and not at your home. You should be considered out of service while taking this shower. The shower should be a little bit different than your typical one. Start off with uncomfortably cold water to close your pores and rinse any contaminants off your skin. After conducting a quick rinse off, you can turn that water up as hot as you would like. Many fire halls have also began using infrared saunas after returning from a fire. The use of saunas post-fire is highly debated. The concept of saunas after a fire makes sense on the surface. Saunas can help sweat out toxins that were absorbed in that fire. However, there is concern that saunas can also lead to dehydration and cause kidney and heart disorders. More studies need to be conducted to determine the benefits and or potential harm with using a sauna after being exposed in a fire incident. Firefighters should make it a point to wash their soiled clothes and a provided clothes washer at the fire hall after a fire. Bringing your soiled clothes or uniforms home will result in cross-containing your soiled fire clothes and the rest of your family's personal clothes.